has arrived and we're back at Fast Night Creek Farms for the KY3 Garden Spot. Dan Bigby is here and it's time to plant something else. And well, the something else is? Some sugar snap peas, oh, okay. actually. Actually, we're already ahead of you a little bit, Steve. We oh, took yeah. a chance and we've got a row out over there we're wow. going to take a look at it in a minute. But with the arrival of spring, it's time to do a lot of different things. And, you know, with the chances of rain ramping up, you just have to find a day when it's dry enough and sneak a little seed in. And so today we're putting in a second row of this Cascadia pea. It is similar to the sugar snap that a lot of people know, but it, as a taller vine, yields more. And what I love about it is it stays sweet longer oh. uh, on the vine. And uh, what a lot of people don't realize, this is one that you the seed develops ins inside it, uh -huh. and you eat the pod and the seed at all. Okay. And it is sweet as candy. I tell you what, you get the kids after it, and you get them to try one, mm -hmm. they won't stop. So. Okay. Well, and these are climbers, we should note, yeah, so uh, they, need a little bit of a fence or something. You right? can do them untrellised, but I uh -huh. learned about four years ago, Kelly had some at the house, and mine flopped over and she had hers trellised and I think hers yielded about four times okay. as much. So she teaches me stuff all the okay. time. <laughs> the professor. Yeah. Okay, so we've got onions, we've got snap peas, and what's gonna we've be got, next to you? We've think? got some lettuce out. Okay. And uh, so now it's time for beets, spinach, uh, leaf lettuce, uh, turnips, carrots, things like that to go in the ground just as quick as you can work the ground, don't yep. work it wet, but okay. uh, if you can, slip it in because it looks like the rain chances are going to keep coming and we got to get a little seed in the ground we while go. we get the chance. You bet, and hopefully we're through with freezing weather yeah. or something like One that. One of the interesting yep. things about this too is we're going to check and see this row over here mm -hmm. is just now coming up and I'm really glad that it held off till after the 17 degrees. <laughs> I don't know quite how frost tolerant peas are, but I didn't want to take a chance, so they're yeah. starting to poke up now. All right. But it will be interesting to see there's going to be about three and a half weeks difference in planting times mm -hmm. and we're going to see how much difference in harvest time because a lot of times if you wait till later in the season when you have more heat longer daylight they'll overlap so right. we're going to do a little experiment there too all righty we will leave it there for now dan we will see you next week appreciate it we'll be back with more of ky3 news at noon in a moment